Growth companies generate consistently high levels of earnings and place greater weight on reinvesting earnings in continued expansion. Welcome to another edition of the Nigerian Investor. Last week, we talked about the return of Tony Elumelu, status quo ante, and corporate governance. Today, we want to talk about Flower Mills investment in capital expenditure and its positioning for future growth. Flower Mills of Nigeria PSE, one of the leading wheat milling companies in Nigeria, has stated that it has a capital expenditure of about 40.7 billion naira which is expected to help position the company's key projects for future and long-term growth. This capital investment is expected to help the company cater adequately for its food and agri-life projects, while the projects that made up the two businesses' structure include the key food projects, flower capacity expansion in Apapa West Mill, completion of golden snacks facility in Nagbara, completion of golden sugar refinery, establishment of new flour mill in Calabar, and expansion of pasta and noodles line. The key agro-like projects are investment in Sunti Sugar Estate, investment in new animal feed mill, acquisition of development of large-scale commercial farming. During a fact behind the figure presentation at the NSC Event Center, the group managing director, Mr. Borg Bededo, said flour mill is standing on three pillars of food businesses, agro-like business and support services, with the food and agro-like group contributing about 95% of defense profit. Speaking on the company financials, the MD said the food and agro businesses contributed positively to the overall profit on the firm, while the packaging, port operations, and other services contributed otherwise, with the chief financial officer, Mr. Jackie Vote, helping to throw more light on this in an interview session. Let's hear from the chief financial officer. Uh, our revenue was uh, actually uh, excellent. Uh, our revenue was quite good uh, on this year. Uh, we grew by an average of uh, 10%. Obviously, our core food business grew uh, at a higher speed than uh, uh, our uh, shared service, uh, for example, Bacco, our packaging material division, as you know, had a challenging year, uh, which is the reason that the revenue went down. What we have done, we have actually refocused our business. We uh, found uh, uh, new uh, products, new route to market, and we are now well positioned in order uh, to further grow this business. Um, we had also other support activities such as um, our subsidiary in terms of transport, Golden Transport Company. Uh, we should not forget that this subsidiary, actually the main purpose, it is to support our core activities and consequently around 90% of uh, the transport is for our own products. So what you see in the financial statements for the support activities, it is a part going to third parties which is shipping activities, which is port management, ABTL, uh, where uh, we actually uh, receive uh, uh, ships and we download on behalf of third parties, uh, as well as uh, the transport. Uh, all those one here uh, reflect only a minor portion of the real business. The following AGNs are upcoming in the market. Triple GPSC on the 25th of September 2014, Northern Nigeria Flower Miss on the 9th of September 2014, Honeywell Flower Miss PSC on the 16th of September 2014, Seven Bottling Company PSC on the 24th of September 2014, and Royal Exchange PSC on the 24th of September 2014. The following companies have declared corporate action. Triple G PSC declared to cover with closure day sales for 22nd of September 2014. On announcement in the market, Nigerian Bureau PSC appoints Mark P. Roten as director. Nigerian Bureau PSC has notified the exchange of the appointment of Mr. Mark P. Roten to the board of directors of the company with effect from 1st August 2014. Transco Hotel PSC proposes initial public offering. Transco Hotel PSC, a hospitality subsidiary of Transco Nigeria, has filed an application for an initial public offering of 800 million ordinary shares of 50 cobalt each at 10 naira per share. Transco PSC owed 88% interest in Transco Hotel PSC through Capital Leisure and Hotel Hospitality Limited. The remaining 12% is owned by the Federal Government of Nigeria. The application is currently being processed by the exchange. Carverting wins contract to supply drilling vessels to SEPCO. Carverting Offshore Support Group PSC has notified the exchange that Carverting RK has been awarded a contract to supply two drilling vessels to Sheba Exploration and Production Company Limited, SEPCO. The contract, which commenced in August 2014, will run for an initial period of three months 
and provides for coverting allocate to supply two vessels in support of rig Trident 8 SEPCO offshore drilling operations. Calvertin RK is a joint venture between RK Offshore of Singapore and Calvertin Marine Limited, one of the two subsidiaries of Calvertin Offshore Support Group. The joint venture was formed in 2012 to take advantage of growing opportunities in the offshore support vessel sector. On its part, SEPCO is an indigenous exploration and production company and operator of the Upokiti Offshore Field, which it acquired from Konoko Phillips in 2004. Diamond Bank announces closure of right issues. Stambi Capital Stockbrokers Limited, as on behalf of Diamond Bank PSC, notified the Nigerian Stock Exchange that the acceptance list for the Diamond Bank right issue closed on Tuesday, 26 August 2014. Accordingly, receiving agents nationwide are advised to prepare and forward their returns to the registrar to the right issue, Centurion Registrars Limited, at 70B, Akme Road, Ogba, Lagos State, no later than Tuesday, 2nd September 2014, as stated in the right circular, approved by the Security and Exchange Commission. Guinness releases notice of board meeting. Guinness Nigeria PSE has notified the Nigerian Stock Exchange that its board of directors will meet on Thursday, 4 September 2014, for the purpose of considering the company's results for the financial year ended 30th June 2014, among other businesses. The company informed that the results will be presented to the Exchange no later than Monday, 8 September 2014. SEC uncovers Liberty Asset Management Limited, an illegal operator. This is to notify the general public that Liberty Asset Management Limited is not registered by the Securities and Exchange Commission to carry out any transaction in the Nigerian capital market. Information available to the Commission confirmed that the illegal operator has been operating at number 327 Oran Road, opposite Akwaite Filling Station Uyo, and at room 30 Ikotekwene LG Store by Old. Stadium, Ikotekwene, Akwaibon State. Members of the public are therefore warned to desist from carrying out any capital market transactions with Liberty Asset Management Limited. That's all we have for you on this edition of the Nigeria Investor. I remain your regular anchor until I come your way again next week. Bye for now.